in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, that for unto us the child is born, for unto us the son is given, okay? And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Counselor, Wonderful, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. And, and the Lord put it into my heart that, Dina, you are going to share it to, to, to them that, for unto us the child is born. It is the humanity of Jesus Christ, okay? And then the son is given, okay? In John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. So the son is already given. So Jesus was born, okay? But it was, he was already existed before he was born because he is the son of God. He is the great I am, okay? He is the deliverer, so he is the one who created everything. So that means that before, even before your problem occurred into your life, God already provided for us the solution. Okay, because Jesus is the word, okay? In John chapter 1, okay, Jesus is the word, and the word was with God, and, and Jesus and word is one. And in, in John chapter 1, verse 14, and the word became flesh, okay, and dwelt among us. So that means that the moment you apply the word of God into your life, because Jesus is the son of God, and he gave us his son, then you can appropriate it into your situation and you can see that God is going to work. The word of God is still working right now. Okay, so I'm going to pray. Father, Lord, I just want to thank you for today. Lord, thank you, God, that you are a faithful God. Lord, thank you, Jesus, Lord God, that with you all things are possible, Lord God. Lord, we just want to bless your name. We just want to honor you today, Lord, as I share the word that you put into my heart. Holy Spirit possess me. Use my ordinary mouth, Lord God, the mouth of clay, Lord God, to do extraordinary things. Today is the day of breakthrough. Today is the day of deliverance, Lord God. Lord, thank you, Jesus God, that the ministering angels are ministering unto us right now. Not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the living God. So thank you, God, for what you're going to do. Every one of us, Lord God, here will receive something new. We'll receive, Lord God, Father, Lord God, new revelation that comes from you. And we will go home and our life will never be the same in Jesus name amen so amen thank you very much so Jacob I think yes at today okay my son Jacob uh, he he told me today that you know night we are going to have uh, seven years uh, only to live here on earth I said who told you that okay he said that there's only seven years after that all of us will die because of the this is what they are the scientists are expert okay that they said that because of the what happened to the planet because of the uh, climate change and the weather is really like not anymore cooperating with all this these uh, like for, I told my husband I have been here for almost 14 years in 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 Calgary okay in Canada but I've never heard the news about going to, to Vancouver because we always, almost every year we drive to Vancouver, that there's flood, that the bridges are, are like swept away by the, blood, by the flood. So I think there's something going on around the world, okay? I just want you to be, to be uh, vigilant, okay? And I ask God, God, what is that that you want me to share? This is the last Sunday of 2021, okay? And the Lord put it into my heart that you tell your people, okay? This is the title, okay? I want you to... I want you to grab it, okay? We live by faith, not by sight. I want you to grab it because with so many things going on around the world, and God told me this is what you are going to share to you today because God is a God of impossible. When Mary said, how could it be? I don't have a man in my life, okay? And God said, with God, all things are possible. And Mary said, let it be, okay? Be it unto me according to your word. He believed the word of God. So I want you to believe the word of God and go home and meditate it. Meditate the word of God because this is what I believe. The problem with so many Christians, we come to church, okay? We are, we are worshiping here. We are doing ministry. But the missing link, why so many Christians doesn't receive their own breakthrough? Because of the meditation. They never meditate the word of God when they go home. They never think about it again. They never whisper it into their, into their ears. They never really declare it into their life. They just, okay, I'm doing my, my, my uh, what's that, uh, religious obligation now. Then I can do anything I want. No, meditation is the key, okay? That is the missing link to so many Christians never receive their own breakthrough because they forget that we need to meditate because 
if we are not going to meditate the word of God, we are going to meditate, meditate the negative things. Do you know that? You are going to meditate and it will create fear. It will create lack. It will create anxiety into your life. So it's better for you to meditate the word of God. So uh, the title of this message, okay, uh, rejoice for this is your season for your favor. Wow, okay? Rejoice for this is your season for your favor. And we are still in the Christmas mood. In fact, after this, we have a Christmas party. Thank you for coming. And I said, God, yeah. Because with God, all things are possible. And I'm going to share to you today these two women, okay, who received the favor from the Lord in a way that only God can make it happen. Do you know that? That God is still has a good plan for the world? I told my son today that I don't think it's true. Where did you get that news? You need to listen to the word of God. If God will come, in his, in his second coming, at least we need to be ready. We need to be ready all the time. It could be tomorrow God will, will come back, okay? Or it could be 100 years from now, okay? We don't know. But the most important thing, we are ready all the time. Because if we are not ready, then we end up going to hell. I don't want to go to hell. It's a hot place and it's a very scary place, okay? So we need to be ready all the time, okay? We need to ask for forgiveness. Immediately, when you felt that you have offense in your heart, immediately settle it before the Lord. If, if you made a mistake of you think that you sin against God, immediately ask for forgiveness because we need to be ready all the time, okay? And these are two women, okay, that receiving the breakthrough that in an unlikely way, okay? So this is, do you know that women or the church is a woman? The church is, a, is the wife of Christ, of Christ, okay? So this is all for us. There is no gender in the spirit, Okay, there is no gender in the spirit. In the spirit, there is no women or men. So when I said there's two women who received the breakthrough in this season because this is the season for their favor, you take it that that is also you. Okay, because every promise of the book, you can claim it that it, be, it, it, be, it will be yours as well. Okay, so I'm going to read it, okay, in, uh, hold on. I'm going to read it in, Luke chapter 1, okay, verse 36, ano, Luke chapter 1, verse 23 to 25, okay? I just do it first, the end, because supposed to be this is not really the first one, but I don't know, the Holy Spirit rearranged it, okay? Uh, when his time of service was completed, he returned home, okay? This is, is, is Zechariah. After this, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and for five months remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. Okay, in these days, in this season, okay, this is our key verse. The Lord has done this for me. You can take it, that's yours as well. The Lord has done this for me, she said, in these days, Okay, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. Okay, and and I read it some of the of the of the different translation. Okay, so this is what Elizabeth has said: What the Lord has done for me will keep people from looking down on me. Wow, this is so beautiful. What the Lord has done for me will keep people from looking down on me. Have you have experienced these things that sometimes people look down on you because they felt that they, you are nobody? This is, the, this, is the, this is what Elizabeth felt before, okay? But suddenly he said, what the Lord has done for me, this is in, in uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 25. What the Lord has done for me will keep people from looking down on me. And in other translation, now at last, Imagine that now at last, okay? So that means he has been, uh, for how many years? He's like not really in a good position, okay? Now at last the Lord has helped me. She said, he has taken away my public disgrace. Wow, it's a public disgrace. Means people really like see her as a curse or you are not really uh, uh, something like 
you are no you have no value at all okay you are nobody okay it's a public disgrace this is really like so hard word and then in other translation this is how the lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked with favor on me to take away my disgrace among men wow this is how the lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked with favor on me to take away my disgrace among men so this is really very powerful word. And why is it that Elizabeth said this? What is the reason why? What's, what's going on into her life? I think we can, you can relate with this because when I'm going to read this, okay, we're going to read in Luke chapter 1, verse 5 to 6 because I really want you to get it. Remember, this is the last message for this year, okay? Luke chapter 1, verse 5 to 6, I'm going to read it. In the time of Herod, king of Judah, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were upright in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commandments and regulation blamelessly. Wow. Observing the Lord's commandments and obligation blamelessly. That means they are so faithful in serving the Lord. That means... They are so obedient to the word of God, okay? And then what happened to them? Both of them were upright, okay, in the sight, observing all the Lord's commandments and regulation, blamelessly. But they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and they were both well along in years. Wow. They have no children. Despite of their faithfulness, Despite of their sacrifice to come to church, despite of their being uh, uh, living a righteous life, his wife is barren. Elizabeth is barren. That means that, uh, do you know, I, I, I came from Singapore, okay, 17 years staying in Singapore, and there's a problem in Singapore now. The government is worried about it because the Singaporean doesn't want kids anymore. Because for them, it's uh, inconvenient, and it's expensive and it's hard work. So they don't want children anymore, okay? But during the time, okay, of the, uh, of the olden days, during the time of Jesus, okay, even, even until now, with the Jewish mentality that the, 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 if the woman, if you are married and you have no kids, okay, that is the, the most shameful thing that happened into a woman, okay? It's, it's barrenness if you don't, if, if you cannot produce as child, okay, in your marriage, they considered you as a curse, okay? And you, do you think Elizabeth was really like comfortable with that? I don't believe so, but yet, Elizabeth and his wife, his, her husband, Zechariah, was still faithfully serving the Lord. But yet, God never answered their prayer. But yet, God never gave what they desire. But yet, God, it seems that God abandoned them. It seems that God never really, like, gave them what they desire. Because they said, Lord, why you are not giving us a son? But yet, it never changed them to serve the Lord. It never really, like, uh, like, giving they never give up serving the lord and i believe that all of us here okay i just declare and decree that even if god never answer your prayer trust the heart of god if even if you don't see the hands of god trust his heart because god is always faithful to his promises to us just like what has happened to Zechariah, i believe there are times that when Zechariah will go to church of course they are going to baptize babies they're going to meet the family because he is a priest okay that Go home and he will cry, Lord, I keep on baptizing the babies. I keep on doing the ministry, but Lord, you don't give us what we desire. And that's the problem as well. Sikariah, uh, the, the wife, is also, I think, about more than 90 years old because I, I Google it, something like that. So that means there is no more way that God will give them a child, okay? There is no more way that his wife will get pregnant. So this is what... I, I observe the, 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 the method of God because God has his principle that God is a God of resurrection, okay? God is a God of impossible. And when you have a dream, when you have this desire, when you are going to, to have this big dream that, that it's God who put it into your heart, God will not give it to you yet until that dream will die in your heart. I don't know why. Because... Zechariah here, he is already like, he, he already give up with his dream. And I remember it back in Singapore. 
okay, that uh, I, I wanted to be a teacher, okay? I wanted to be an elementary teacher. And when I work in Singapore, after two years, the Lord put into my heart, I don't want you to go home and be a teacher. I want you to work as a maid. Okay, and I was so angry with the Lord. That is one of the hardest decisions that I, I ever made in my life, okay, because it was not easy for me. Okay, so it was so painful for me, but I obeyed God in a way. I died with my dreams, okay? I died with my desire. I, I died with my, with my plan to be, to be an elementary teacher, okay? But the Lord, how could the Lord resurrect you? How could the Lord resurrect your dream, okay, if your dream will not die first? Have you noticed it? You need to surrender your dream to the Lord. It's because God still look for a people who will never give up with his dream. Okay, don't give up with your dream because your dream is so valuable to the Lord. Your dream, okay, your dream is so important to the Lord. Your dream, okay, your desire in life is very, what's that? God values it because that dream comes from the Lord. But you need to surrender it to the Lord. And this is what happened to this couple. Although they have this dream, although they have this, this desire to have a son, okay, but they are barren, okay, because barrenness actually for them it's a curse okay but how to apply it into our own life today i believe that there's a season in your life that you are barren with your finances okay i've experienced it myself i believe there's a season in your life that there's, there is barrenness in your in your marriages i believe there's a season in your life that there's barrenness in your ideas that you cannot even think properly you cannot even think why you cannot even like what to do with my business how to up, how to improve how to how to how how to save money there's barrenness of that there's always up. There's always somebody will get sick. There's always somebody who will never do the right thing in your family. So that is a sign of barrenness, okay? That there will be no productivity in your life, but yet you remain faithful in serving the Lord. But yet you remain faithful going to church. But yet you remain faithful doing the things that God is telling you to do. I believe that sometimes maybe Zechariah and Elizabeth were so discouraged to go to church. I'm just being honest with you here, okay? But they never give up serving the Lord. They never give up doing the things that God is telling them to do. They set aside their dreams and just faithfully serving the Lord. Okay? And what happened to this, to this story? Okay? And then in, in Luke chapter 1, okay, verse 11 to 14, to 14, then one day, because Zechariah never gave up and Elizabeth, then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense because Zechariah was chosen to be the one who will go to the holy of the holy years. I believe Pastor Kim knows about it because you are a, a Silichan that the holy of holy years, only I believe there's only one opportunity for you to go to the holy of the holy years because there is only if you cannot go in there, you cannot even enter that one if you don't have a bell in your, in your uh, what's that, in your, in your feet. Because if you are not holy enough to enter there, you will die. So there is an opportunity for Zechariah to enter into the Holy of Holies. But you know what? I discovered it. When Jesus died on the cross, he tore the veil. The the, the, the veil that, that separates from the holy, uh, from, the, from the outer court to the inner court, he tore it already. So that's this time. Anytime we can go to the holy of holy, yes. Because the kingdom of God is upon us. The moment you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can enter to the holy of the holy, yes. Anytime you want. It's because Jesus already died on the cross. He tore the veil from top to bottom so that we can enter without any more hindrance that anytime you go there to the holy of the because God already, Jesus already paid the price for that. Amen for that. Okay, amen for that. So this is what happened. When Zechariah saw him, the angel, he was, star he was started. Okay, he was just like uh, afraid and was, and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name John. He will be joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never, he is never to take wine or other fermented drinks, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from, the, from birth. I said, wow. 
So the Lord told Zechariah by the messenger, okay, but do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear a son. So that means that even the thought that the Lord abandoned their dream. Zechariah thought that God will never answer their prayer anymore. Zechariah thought that this desire that they have to have a son will never anymore happen. But God remembers Zechariah. And I just declare and decree to you that God will remember your dream. God will remember your prayer. This is a season for you that God will give you the favor. This is a season for you that God will give you the, the desire of your heart. This is a season for you because for, with God, all things are possible. And I just remember it that, you know what, when you cook, like, like when you cook food that is nutritious, it is not easy. Okay, just for example, like if you cook spring roll, okay, I like spring roll. It's a lot of hard work, but if you just go to McDonald's, okay, it's easier there, but it's not so nutritious. So the food that is nutritious, you will, kick, you will cook it, it's more complicated, you will keep, cook, cook it longer, okay, and it's more expensive. But if you want to do it quick, okay, McDonald's or all this fast food, not enough nutritious there and it's easier. You just buy there. But this is what happened to us as well, that sometimes God will delay the promotion that God is giving to you. God will delay the favor that God is giving to you because the things that God is giving to you is so big that God is preparing your heart. You are still in the process to that big dream that you are desiring. You are still in the process to that big, uh, what's that prayer that you are asking from the Lord? Because God will never forget your sacrifice for him. God will never forget because God, no matter how much you sacrifice for the Lord, coming here today is a sign of your faithfulness in serving the Lord, okay? Doing something for the Lord, God will never forget it. Doing something for the ministry, God will never forget it. Doing something for your family, God will never forget it. He's recording it right now. What you do for him, he's recording it right now. Because no matter how much you give to the Lord, you cannot outgive God. If God the Father gave up his son, how much more that one that you desire? And this is what happened to, to, to Zechariah, okay? A delay is not a denial, okay? Even if you think that you are delayed right now, Lord, I'm old, oh Lord, I don't know if I can have this kind of company, Lord, even, Lord God, uh, I don't know if I can still upgrade myself, no. God said, he's telling you today, today is a season of your favor. Today is a season that the blessing and the favor of the Lord will locate you because Right now, the angels is locating Elizabeth, okay? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a season for her to receive what she desires, okay? So I just declare and decree that this is a season for you that the favor of the Lord will locate you no matter who you are, no matter what kind of mistake that you, 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 you've made before, no matter what kind of, of what's that a decision that you make before. Today is the day that your struggle is over. I just declare and decree it to you. Today is the day. This is the season for you to receive your own breakthrough like Zechariah and Elizabeth because they thought that God has forgotten them. But no, God will never forget your sacrifice, what you have done for the kingdom of God, God will always reward you because God is a faithful God. I hope you are blessed with that. Don't ever, ever underestimate what you have done for the Lord. Don't ever, ever think that God, you are, maybe God, you are angry with me. Maybe God, you are not really, Lord God, thinking about me. Maybe, Lord God, you are not really interested for my, for my dream. But no, I'm telling you today, today is a day that your struggle in life is over. You will have your own breakthrough because the angel is telling you today, today is not, is not, the other day, it's today, reclaim it today is the day of your breakthrough because the blessing and the favor of God will locate you, the blessing and the favor of God will come upon you like this, these couples because we are these couples, you, are, you, you need to take it by force because faith is believing the impossible, faith is the backbone of our faith, okay faith is believing that with God all things are possible, that's why God, if it's possible then we can give glory to the Lord and the reason why it's big thing the reason why it's impossible because now Zechariah and Elizabeth will realize because they were old already 
you will realize that only God can make that things happen into your life. And sometimes God will kill you. Sometimes God will, will, will put you in the process. Sometimes God will allow even the door to be closed in front of you. Sometimes God will allow people to reject you. And the moment you persevere that one, the moment you pass the test, the moment you are not going to give up and serving the Lord, and God is going to open a door for you that no man can close anymore. Are you blessed with that? Because our God is a faithful God. Our God is a God who will always even give beyond what you desire. Elizabeth and John, they are, look, they are just praying for a son. And the son that God gave to them is a son, the greatest prophet that ever walked here on earth. Okay? Because he's the one who will prepare the way for Jesus. So this is not an ordinary son. And God sometimes delayed your promotion. Sometimes God will delay what you desire because the, 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 the things that God is giving to you is beyond your expectation, is beyond your dreams, is beyond what you have even prayer because God is a God of bigness. He is so big. He is so mighty. He is so powerful that what you are going to desire is a God. When God said, not even enough, I will give you more. Okay, like, where is it in the Bible, Pastora? So I'm going to give it to you because I really want you to expand your mind. I really want you to big dream, big dream, okay? Have, have a, like, you cannot go beyond the level of your dream, okay? You cannot go beyond the le level of your expectation. Expect something that, expect that God will do something great into this season in your life. Okay, because we are going to the next level. 2022 is three tools, I believe, that whatsoever is that that you desire, if you grab it by faith, the things that will not work before, this time it will work. The things, maybe re reconciliation to the broken relationship, okay? Maybe the things that you, that, but that was my husband said that those people who has no power to buy a house, this is a season for you to buy a house. Those people who think that they cannot get married, this is a season for you to get married. Maybe those people that has no power, like, Lord, I cannot even pay my debt, Lord. I declare and decree, this is a season for you to pay, fully paid, okay? Fully paid, debt free, mortgage free. You claim it because have a high expectation. If you don't have a high expectation from the Lord, then God will not be pleased with you because God is challenged by our big dreams. God is so happy if you ask big things from the Lord because he is bigger than what you are asking even right now. Okay, so this is the verse that I'm going to give it to you. This is one of my favorite verse. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now to him who is able he is not just willing he is able okay some parents okay I am willing but I am not able because my resources is limited but God is not just willing but he is able what he can do to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to the power that is at work within us wow now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. So that means that whatsoever you are, you are asking from the Lord right now, God is even able more than what you ask or what you imagine. How powerful it is. And no wonder that God gave Elizabeth and, and Zechariah a son that is so great. Okay, the one who will prepare the Messiah. And I just declare and decree unto you that whatsoever is that, this is a season for you, that God will give you more, that God will give you beyond what you ask or imagine. Claim it right now, claim it right now, claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it, because we do it by faith, because faith is believing the impossible, receiving the not really like, wow, okay? It's really, really true that if you put your trust in the Lord, if you put your, 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 your life to the Lord, you will never be disappointed because God will give you more what you deserve because He is a generous God. He is not just an ordinary God. The God that you are serving is not an ordinary, but we need to be willing. Are you faithful? Are you willing to sacrifice for His kingdom? Because that was Zechariah and Elizabeth. They have been doing, still faithfully serving the Lord. Even God never answered their prayer. And one day, they receive it. 
one day and to today, okay, this is a season that you're going to receive whatsoever is that that you desire. Maybe a company, maybe a million dollars uh, a salary, I don't know, but there's nothing impossible with the Lord. We are asking for million dollars. I don't know if you're like, oh, wow, he is mater she is materialistic. No, don't re rebuke me with that because I'm asking for million dollars so that we can buy a building here, bigger building than what we are, we are, we are uh, uh, worshiping right now. Ask impossible things. Because if you will not ask impossible, God will not be glorified. Do you know that? Because if you just ask normal things, God will not be glorified with that because you know it's normal. Okay, Lord, give me a salary, $2,000 a month. You can afford that. But if you ask for God, Lord, give me $20,000 a month, you know that you cannot do it. But with God, all things are possible. So you, can, you will know only that only God and God will get the glory. You will not give the glory to, you are not going to get the glory yourself or other people because only God can make it happen. I hope you understand what I mean. Now this is a season for us to raise up our expectation from the Lord. You need to upgrade your expectation. Upgrade your expectation because before when we, 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 Bought the house there in, in our house in summer, 17 Summer Glen Road. I said, God, we will pay this house seven years. You know that? I said, God, this house will only be fully paid seven years. And if we never bought another property and we bought a pro expensive property in the Philippines, fill in this, uh, uh, what's that, uh, uh, like, what's that? It's residential, okay? Fill in this is a very expensive one. We fully paid that house the eighth year. If I said, Lord, we can fully pay this house maybe 20 years, then God will honor that one. God will, will only give you according to, your, to meet your level. Okay, if you ask big thing to the Lord, God will give it to you. If you ask small things to the Lord, then still God will give it to you because he's faithful. He will honor your expectation. I hope you understand this one. He will honor your expectation. So expect something great. Expect something good. Expect something powerful. Expect something big because the God that we are serving is bigger than what you are expectation. I hope I want to upgrade. We need to upgrade our faith. We're going to 222 now, okay? 2022. Upgrade your expectation from the Lord. I have, I'm now, I'm upgrading my expectation. I will ask for millions because of the building. Because it's not about you. It's about kingdom business. It's about how to help other people, okay? It's not greediness at all, okay? Of course, you can still have it, but if your desire is to do kingdom business, then God will grant what you desire. And God is so honored if you ask if you will ask big thing. Okay, so I hope you are blessed with that. And so what happened? Okay, in Luke chapter 1 verse, uh, what's that? Uh, where is it now? Luke chapter 1 verse 18 to 20. Okay, I just want to, 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 to read this one. What happened now? Luke chapter 1 verse 18 to 20. Sikaria asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. The angel answered, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and I tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the day this happened because you did not believe my word, which will come through at the proper time. Wow, I was so shocked with this. Because Sikaria didn't believe. Sikariah said, no, how could, it, how could this happen? Give me the evidence. And some of us, we forfeit our promotion, we forfeit our blessing because we speak negative. We don't believe that God can do that to us. And you know what? The angel, what did the angel do to Sikariah? He, he make him mute. Okay, just like I remember it, like our, our Bible study that only one can speak so but till they will mute the people so that it will be more uh, the, those person who will speak can, can, can be heard properly or else everybody can, 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 can it will not be so clear. But the angel makes Zechariah mute. He cannot anymore speak because he doesn't, the angel, God doesn't want Zechariah's baby to be aborted. So we need to be careful what kind of words. Stop cursing yourself. Stop cursing yourself because you don't even realize how powerful you are. And you know that the prophecy, okay, that 80 something like that in, in, the, in, the, in the Jewish calendar, 80 is mouth, okay? So this is a season for us to declare good things into our life. We live by faith, not by sight, calling things which are not as though they were. 
We need to call things. Sometimes we have a dog, winter, and then winter, I, he's outside, and sometimes he will, he, will, he will bark there. So I want him not to disturb the neighbor, so I will call him because he's not inside. I want him to be inside the house so that he will not bark outside. So I could winter, and winter will just run inside. We need to call the blessing of the Lord. It's time for us to call the favor of the Lord. Because if you are not going to be careful with your mouth, you might abort your John. God already gave the name even of their son. Okay? Name him John means your company already has a name. Your dream already has a name. Your, your husband or your wife already has a name. Your desire already has a name. There is already a name. But don't ever, ever forget that your, your mouth is a powerful force. The God wants your mouth, okay? And the devil, God wants also your mouth. So either you help the devil to destroy you, or I help, or either you, you help God to for, to bring the purpose why you are here on earth. I hope you understand this one. Because why God never make us mute now? Because this is what I believe. Because God already gave us the example of Zechariah. Because God, once God will give you something to you, you need to agree with it. You need to believe it. You need to believe it. Grab it by faith, okay? Make it sure that what God is telling you today, you are going to meditate on it. You need to just like worship God. You need to really like, God, thank you, Lord God. This is my season for favor. Go home and keep on speaking it maybe a thousand times a day. God, this is a season of my favor. God, this is a season of my favor. God, this is a season of my favor. Because the moment you do that, you meditate your word day and night. Because if you are not going to do that, there is a tendency that, oh no, there is another virus. Oh no, how many people died? Oh no, the, 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 the what's that? Goods in superstore are already very expensive. You don't say that. You don't say that. Don't cancel. Cancel your job. Don't cancel your promotion. Because the moment you speak negative words, that is the things that happen to you. If you keep on speaking luck, the spirit of poverty will be attracted unto you. If you keep on speaking sickness, the spirit of sickness will be attracted unto you. If you keep on speaking lust, the spirit of lust will come unto you. That's why be careful what you are watching. If you keep on speaking negative things, it's a negative things that will happen unto you. But thank God we have the word of God. So speak the word of God only. Okay? Speak Jesus, even speak only what, the, what he heard from the Father. Okay, and you said that whatsoever is that that's going on around the world, don't focus on that. Glance on it so that we will know what's going on, but it is not for our meditation. It is not for our focus. Focus more on the word of God. In fact, in John, uh, in, in the Deuteronomy, I uh, know, Joshua 1.8, okay? This is what happened here. Joshua 1.8. Uh, I, I believe it's there also. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it, on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Means, I remember it, Pastor answered in Southside, it's a holy murmuring. Instead of murmuring, okay, I don't want this, this weather, why, why this weather is so cold, I don't like Canada now or something. Stop murmuring, stop murmuring against the weather. Stop murmuring against the snow. Stop murmuring against what's going on in the news. You need to meditate the word of God. You know why? It's because God said, night or day, so that you may be careful to do everything written on it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Never, God never say it's God, it's you. Because Jesus died on the cross already for you. If you want to be successful in life, from now on, it's time for you to meditate the good things in life, to meditate the word of God. Meditate what God has promised into your life. And I even like every day, okay, almost every day, I have this song, uh, my, my children learned this song when they were young as well, that I just want to be happy. I just want to, be, to feel that I'm blessed. So I will sing, I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, when I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I am blessed. And then I said, Magkawas are blessed. So that means the whole family, Magkawas are blessed. Every day of my life, we are blessed. 
When we wake up in the morning, when we lay our head to rest, magkawas are blessed. We are blessed. So I keep on singing that one and I feel that we are blessed. Is it really blessed? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Meditate the word because it can be attracted unto you. Whatsoever you said, that's the things that will be attracted unto you. So maybe no wonder your life is in a mess. Check what kind of word coming out from your mouth. Because if God can mute Zechariah, because God is so serious to give them the John, God also is so serious to give you the favor and the promotion. But be careful what kind of word coming out from your mouth. I hope you're blessed with that. And there is another, another uh, woman, okay, that also is in a season. Remember, when God does something great into your life, it never starts good. I don't know why. This is my experience, okay? God will start from barrenness to fruitfulness. God will start from being from in darkness to light. God will start from being at the bottom to the top. God will start from be in morning and to dancing. God will start in nighttime to daytime. I don't know why, but this is the principle of the Lord. So if you are experiencing right now, okay, nighttime, if you are experiencing right now uh, uh, heaviness in your heart, don't worry. I just declare and decree. This is your season now. God will turn your mourning into dancing. God will turn your sorrow into joy. God will turn your lack to prosperity. God will turn your sickness into good health. God will turn your worriness and anxiety into peace. God will turn your hatred into love. God will turn your, your, your storm from storm to peace. Okay, just agree with me. Accept it right now. Take it by force. Take it like, Lord, this is mine. This is my, this is my, my story because sometimes I will, I will read the word of God. Lord, this is my story. Lord, this is what happened to me. So I will only, always agree with the word of God by faith. By everything that happened in the kingdom of God, we do it by faith. And you know what? Faith comes from hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if you keep on hearing it, your faith will grow. The more you believe it, the more you said it, the more you believe it. The more you said it, the more you believe it. So have a self-talk. Meditate the word of God. Lord, I'm prosperous. I'm blessed. I'm healed. I'm highly favored, Lord God. This is my season of favor. This is my season, Lord God, that you are going to remember me. Lord, this is my season, Lord God, that you look at me, Lord God. You are going, Lord God, to give favor unto me, Lord God. This is my season, Lord God, that you are going, Lord God, to grant the desire of my heart. Say it by faith. Not keep on speaking something that is not really in line with the word of God. Because God will meet you where you are. If you keep on speaking luck, if you keep on speaking low things, then that is what, you are go- what will happen unto you. You cannot go the level in life beyond of your confession, beyond of your mindset. That's why God told Abraham, Abraham, get out from your, from your tent. Look at the star. That is the number of your children, and you cannot count the star. So you cannot count even your children. That's how powerful our dream, our vision is. So don't ever, ever underestimate that God cannot do something in your life. You are valuable to the Lord. And so this is the second woman that I'm going to share to you because we are still in the Christmas uh, atmosphere. So in Luke chapter, what's that? 126, okay, to, to, I will just do it to 40, okay? In the sixth month, God sent a Miss Gabriel to Nazareth, a town of Galilee, to a virgin place to be married to a man named Joseph. So this is Mary. A descendant of David, the virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled in his word and wondered what kind of greetings this might be. And I just want to, just like, why is it that Mary is highly, is troubled with that greetings? Okay? Mary, you are highly favored, okay? You are highly favored from God. The Lord is with you. And this is what I believe, that Mary was troubled with that greetings because in her heart, in her mind, in her situation, she was not in a favorable situation. I hope you understand this one. Maybe Mary is rejected. I don't know what happened to her, but if she's favored, if she is like, live a, a life that is luxurious, okay, if he, she is like popular in maybe in, the, in, the, in their school or popular in their community, when, when the angel will tell her that Mary, you are highly favored, you're blessed and highly favored, he said, of course I am highly favored, look at me now. But no, 
Mary was troubled because I believe she was confused because in her situation, she is not in a favorable uh, situation at that moment. And many of us, I'm just telling you, you are highly favored. Take it that you are Mary. I always tell myself, Lord, I am Mary. I'm highly favored by you. Take it. Lord, you are Elizabeth. You are Mary. You are Sikariah because every promise of the book is mine. Take it that you are Mary right now and you are highly favored by the Lord. The Lord is with you. Okay? And what happened here? And what happened here? And he said, Mary was greatly troubled at his word and wondered what kind of greetings this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Take it, your name. Do not, the, but the angel said, do not be afraid. Dina, you have found favor with God. Take it as your name. You will be with child and give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of most high. The, the, son, the, the son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. So this is the son of God. Okay. How will this be? Mary asked this angel since I am a virgin. Do you know that to a Jewish teenage virgin. To get pregnant. Okay. Who is pledged to be married to Joseph. This is not really, how to say that, an ordinary thing. Because for her to think that she will get pregnant with the Holy Spirit, she actually gave up her reputation, gave up her life. Because during the time, according to the law of Moses, when the woman, when people have found out that you get pregnant out of wedlock, okay, out of uh, like something like that, you, they allow you to stone to death, okay? So she gave up her life, she gave up her reputation, and even she gave up her love life. Do you know that? Because what do you think of her fiancé? That she's pregnant, and, and because she said, how would I know that I don't have, I don't know, I don't have a man in my life? Because during that time, okay, when you are engaged, okay, you are not going there. They don't allow you to sleep first. I remember it before. I even told my children the other day that when Fred, because we were not, he, she was, he was not my boyfriend. And suddenly when he proposed to me in the bus stop in Singapore, you know, I said immediately, yes, okay. And then after that, I told my pastor's wife that I am engaged now. But don't worry, it's two years, something like that. And then my, the pastor's wife told me, Dina, you need to announce it. You need to have an engagement party in the church. And I don't know what is that. I'm so obedient to my pastor's wife. So we have the engagement party. And there is like, it seems like there is a wedding. Like there is food. There is a lot of people are excited. Okay. And, and Fred gave both to me, this is the ring, both to me an engagement ring as well. And the moment he gave me the ring, he he tried to kiss me, and I didn't know that he's trying to kiss me because it was for me, it was just an engagement. The moment he, he just like started to kiss me, immediately I just, do that, don't do that. And the whole congregation was so quiet, you know. The whole congregation was so shocked that I really like, I didn't know, it was my instinct. I'm a village girl, okay, so I was not really exposed with all these movies, so I was just do that to, to, to him, that don't kiss me, and I was like, I regretted it because I put him to shame that time, but you know what? That was my instinct because I honor myself and I honor God in my life, you know? So during that time, they don't allow to maybe hold hands even if they're planning to get married. So imagine that he, she gave up her love life just for the sake to obey the Lord, okay? And there's some principle here that you're going to say to, to, to do so. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come. Okay, how will this be? Mary asked, the angel says, I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, was, and she who was said to be barren in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to the town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. And this is what I'm going to, to really like uh, share to you. This is very deep, actually. That Mary 
lend her own body to God? Can you handle being highly favored by the Lord? Because that body supposed to be, he will give it to her future husband. I hope you understand what I mean. But Mary gave it up because he lent her body to the Lord. Can you handle being highly favored by God? It is a favor from the Lord. Mary died for her own will. Mary died with her own desire. I believe during this time, Mary was a teenage virgin girl, Jewish girl. They are planning already what kind of gown, what kind of party, okay? What kind of, of uh, uh, what's that like? Everything, you know, if you are a bride, you know, you always plan what's the best for you, okay? She's excited that that one is put on hold. She gave her life first. She gave her, her, her body first as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Have you noticed it? In Romans chapter 1, 12 verse 2, that present your body as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Holy and acceptable unto sight. So Mary started being pregnant. But you know what? The angel announced her first, you are highly favored. And after that, said you will get pregnant. So that means you cannot be favored by the Lord and not getting pregnant. That means you cannot be favored by the Lord and not making your body as a living sacrifice to him. And imagine that Mary started to have this big tummy. You know, like, like you are pregnant. And what happened? She ripped her flesh. She died with her own will. And what happened to the neighbor? Of course, I live in the village. Oh, what happened? She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Oh, no, she's not married yet. Oh, no, I don't think it's Joseph. I know, I don't think she's Joseph. Okay. She kept this ridicule, the, the, the rumors, okay? And she just took it. We never heard even that Mary and Joseph get married. Do you know that it was not written in the Bible? I don't know. Maybe people were, were so disappointed that they, they thought that they slept together or they know that it was not Joseph. So there is no more even wedding that happened. Can you handle being highly favored by the Lord? Can you handle the gossip? Can you handle the rejection? Can you handle the misinterpretation? Because if you want to be favored by God, you are willing to give up your body as a living sacrifice for the Lord because God wants everything from us. God requires everything from us. It is not just halfway, but all, everything that you have, give it to the Lord as a living sacrifice for Him. Can you handle to be highly favored by the Lord? Because because Mary is highly favored by God, but yet he gave up his, her love life. She gave up her life even. She gave up her relationship with her, with, her, with her family because, of course, her parents were so disappointed with that as well. I hope you understand this one. That favor is not fair. Favor is just. Can you handle? I remember it because I can only relate to you what I've experienced. God told me, okay, after two years work as a maid in Singapore, Dina, I don't want you to go home in the Philippines and be, and, and, and be a teacher. I want you to work as a maid. And I was so angry with God that I even wrote a letter to the Lord. I wrote, Lord, this is the advantage and this advantage. I was so angry because I didn't want to do it. But yet, I obey it anyway. I died with my own flesh. God wants me to die with my dream before God can resurrect me with my dream as well. And during the time I went, uh, I was pregnant, you know, I was, I was, Jacob was my son already, and my husband found a job that the company will, will, will host the people who work in that company, there is a big apartment, and we have our own bedroom there, and a lot of Filipinos in that one big apartment with many toilet and, and kitchen, okay, you know, not only one kitchen, but uh, we have our own place, so it's free from the company, which is good, but you have a lot of people there. Well, Filipino, the manager of that company, which is Filipino, is there. And of course, there's a lot of things going on in that, like that, the gossip, okay, and all these things. And that, that manager's wife has a lot of, sometimes a lot of visitors, and it becomes also my friend, okay? But I was struggling during that time. It was our desert moment. And one time, I went upstairs to that apartment, and this Filipina uh, neighbor that we have asked me, Ati Dina, Ati Dina, come, I want to tell you something. I said, what is that? I said, do you know that you are the center of the gossip, that group that he, in your house? I said, why? Why the gossip? I'm a good person. I said, no, they said that you are not graduating as a teacher. 
It was not true. You are lying to them. You are not really a professional back in the Philippines. So everybody believe on that, okay? Because there is someone who told them that she is, it's not, it was not true. She is not really a professional back in the Philippines. So don't listen to her. That is not, that is a lie. So imagine that. What I felt during that time, I was so like, oh God. And then you know what happened? I went home and smiled at them. I went home and never defended myself. You know why? Because I know and I know that God is the one who will give me, who will fight the battle for me. And if you are not going to defend yourself, God will fight the battle for you like Mary. I don't really read that Mary defended herself. She went to Elizabeth. Why she went to Elizabeth? Because that is the right connection for her. You need to go to the right connection right now. If you really believe that you are pregnant like Mary, Mary never even show up yet that she has big tummy. Mary never have a morning sickness yet. Mary never have this craving yet, but she already believed that she is pregnant. She already believed that God is, is giving him this baby who is the son of God. And then she changed her, her mindset. She ran to Elizabeth. She ran to the right person. So don't go to the abortionist during this time. You believe it that you are pregnant right now. You believe it that God will answer your prayer. You believe it. Don't focus about the gossip. Don't focus about these negative things. Just believe and believe it that Lord, this is a season for me that you are going to grant the desire of my heart because God will give you what you desire if you focus only what God is telling you to do. And Mary ran. She changed. Can you change your mindset right now? Can you change your, your connection can you change the way you dress up? Maybe you dress up like a pregnant uh, person now. Can you change the way you, what kind of movie you are watching? Maybe you can change your YouTube channel now. Maybe you change your, the way you talk to yourself. Maybe you change the way you, you, you dress up. Sometimes I will just dress up beautiful in the house. And then I just think, Lord, I am a millionaire's wife. Lord, I am a millionaire's wife. Lord, we become so prosperous in life. You need to do it. Mary never even really see that she's pregnant. She cannot feel it. But whatsoever inside, and if you just keep on declaring it, eventually it will come out from the outside because it's not outside in. It's inside out. And he ran. He went immediately to Elizabeth because he believed. She believed that now she's pregnant. Can you believe right now that you are pregnant? You run to the right person. You go and ask advice for people who are older than you so that you will know that God is giving you the right people and ask God, Lord, give me wisdom. Who are these people? Give me wisdom. Who are my Elizabeth right now, Lord God? Because, Lord, I know I'm going to deliver a baby. 2022, Lord God, is my deliverance delivery season that I'm going to give birth to my dream. I'm going to give birth, Lord God, to what I desire because Lord God, right now, I am pregnant, Lord God, with big things, with company, with house, with husband, with wife. I'm pregnant, Lord God, with millions of dollars. I'm pregnant, Lord God, with the right connection. I'm pregnant, Lord God, with good things in life because with you, God, all things are possible. And this is a season for it. And this is the season for it. This is a season of favor. Don't listen to the sinning. The world wants to limit us. The world wants us to just like, this is all that you can receive. This is all that you can receive in your salary. This is all that you can do in life. This is all that you can achieve in life. But in Jesus' name, no more limitation. 2022, the limitation is over right now. I declare it. Whatsoever things other people will go down this 2022, you are going to go up. Other people will get depressed. You are going to be happier. Other people will, will owe money in the bank more, but you are going to have surplus of prosperity because with God, all things are possible. If Mary can do that, if Elizabeth can do that, they started from being barren. They started from being nobody. They started from being at the bottom. But right now, more than 2,000 years ago, we are still talking about them. It's because with God, all things are possible possible and I declare and decree to you right now all of you who are even watching right now in the internet that this is a season of your favor this is not a season of crisis according to the world this is not a season of sickness according to the world this is not a season of fear according to the world this is your season of promotion this is the season of your breakthrough this is a season of your surplus of prosperity this is a season that your dream will come through this is a season of your blessing and this is a season so that God, the limitation will be over right now. No more limitation. I declare, decree, accept it, receive it right now in your spirit. No more 
limitation. You live life without limit because this is a season for it in Jesus' name. I want to call the people, uh, the, the music people right now. I hope you are blessed with that. I'm prophesying right now to you. Accept it right now. This is not really an ordinary thing that I'm declaring right now. Whatsoever is that that hinders you in this season, it will be already cut off. No more hindrance. You are going to live life without limit. There is an acceleration that will come into your life. There is an acceleration. If you are depressed this season, you will never be depressed anymore. If you are have luck this season, you have always surplus of prosperity. If you are full of fear this season, you will have the, 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 the spirit like a lion who is bold, okay? If you are already discouraged, this is a season you will rise up again. You will rise up. You will arise and shine. You will bounce back in this season. Amen. Are you happy to do that? Amen. There is a good news. Don't ever, ever think that God has forgotten you. you val God values your dream. God values your desire. God values your prayer. The night that you keep on crying because you thought God has forgotten you, today is a day of resurrection for it.